welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna try to go for a drive. I think almost everything is done. Almost. So what did you do today? Why don't you update us all here? Well, we just finished putting the pedal assembly in after the master cylinder failed. And then I had a ton of brake fluid inside the vehicle because the $64 master cylinder I bought, the sensors were both bad on it. So the fluid was coming through the electrical sensors. So that was a lot of disassembly of the frunk. And how uh, happy were you about that, Rob? How happy? So happy. It was so <laughs> awesome. So if you buy a Chinese master cylinder rebuild, uh, just maybe swap over the, the sensors from your original German one. <laughs> pit crew checking the tire pressure here. You're fluffed up and ready to go. All right, I love it when you fluff me up. Oh, I was gonna say that that sounded bad. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna rock dirty with no bumper for a second because uh, my bumper will not fit with that exhaust on it right now. You ready? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. And I want to say that I could not have done this without, without this girl right here. project of my whole life I, I don't know it's I got a lot of weird feelings right now because it also just feels like it used to only slightly louder because of the exhaust so it's not like crazy to drive it's just it should hopefully make a lot less smoke He has risen. This is the Easter special. But yeah, this is a- Celebratory uh, beer. Thank you. <laughs> There's still some drips going on, but like barely. And I bet you if I tighten a couple things, it won't won't really do it so much. But the big thing is, is there's not, this, uh, this right here, most people don't know this, but I converted this in German to say smoke robber. So like smoky in the bandit style in German, because this thing used to smoke 
so bad. Every time I parked it anywhere, I'd take it to car shows and people would be like, dude, your car is smoking like really bad. Like, ooh, they'd all look all concerned. Remember this? I do very much, yep. And uh, <laughs> they'd be like, is it, is it all right? Is it gonna catch on fire? And I'm like, nah, it's just the oil dripping onto the exhaust and smoking. I was saying earlier, like the point of this entire rebuild for you is not to try to stop a Porsche from being a Porsche. It's gonna leak oil a little bit. It's just how much and where, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I knew it would drive. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna stop after a certain point and how it shift on. and. Well, brake warning light came on, so I, I don't know. It might be a little low on brake fluid. Fluid, so. yeah. After after that, yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, it shifts great. That was the other thing because I got this transmission rebuilt. Yeah. It has all new synchros. It used to grind when I downshifted, and. Oh, I remember no, that. That was terrible. That, no, that felt bad even as a passenger. <laughs> yeah, no more grinds. And then the big thing is, since it, I got, I ditched the uh, the steel pressure plate, and I got that um, performance clutch that came with an aluminum one, which shaved like eight pounds off the, ro the rotational assembly. Now, when I downshift and I stab the gas to match RPMs, it's like wow, wow. It's 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 <laughs> awesome. I, I that was a huge improvement, and the exhaust. I don't know if it's going to stay on. I do, I, I am a little surprised. I went over to a back road and I got going like 60 or 70 and just tried to like maintain a constant speed. And then I just started talking to myself and talking volume and it was like, not bad. Like, cause that's what I was worried about. I was worried about highway oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, this has been the biggest project of my life for sure. Definitely the most ambitious cause um, yeah, it could have been could have cost way more than it did. I don't want to know how much it cost. Um, Please don't ever total it, no. But. You did all the labor yourself. I did all the labor myself, except for the transmission rebuild because I didn't feel comfortable doing it. And if I had paid, uh, you know, a shop to do this, it would have been like, I mean, especially with all the stuff that I wanted done, it would have been like 25 grand easy. Now, it would have been a fresh motor though. And this is not a fresh motor, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine, I'm very happy. So uh, I, I do want to say one other thing. Thank you to everyone who's watched this series. This has been like, this is my COVID project here and it's now been, we should figure out when I pulled the motor. Yeah. You should look that up quick. It was like right before. Uh, it, it was yeah. March or April of 2020. So it's April right now, it is Easter. It might be like, like a three day weekend might've been when I was ambitious enough to pull the motor. March-ish, April-ish. Like I feel like we're, we're right around where I think it's, it might be three years on the money. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, how cool would that be? I'm gonna look it up right Man. now. <laughs> look at this. April 6th, April 8th. Oh my God, Was there it, it is. actually the 8th? What's today? The 9th. <laughs> you might've been right about the, I, the I long weekend. I think it weekend. was, yeah, yeah. I had a three day weekend and I was like, oh, I'm finally gonna attack this thing. And uh, yeah, it has funny. been three years and one day. We'll call it to the day because leap year's bullshit. I don't know if there was one in there, but whatever. So I'm gonna drive this daily this whole summer. Okay. That's you, my plan. You enjoy that. Well, I put a different motor in the Civic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, cheers. And thank you to everyone who started watching this series. The moral of the story here is tackle things you haven't done before and take a lot of photos before you take it apart. Yes. Actually, you should just start a YouTube channel because then what happens is you're like, I have no idea what the hell I did. And then you just load up your video and you're like, oh yeah, that's what I did. For real though, that's that's what, like, you know, I had to adjust the clutch today. Guess what I did? Watch my own video. <laughs> I don't remember. Of it just goes in did. and goes out, you know? <laughs> Everyone, by the way, owes me a, a tiny debt of gratitude for this being finished because about seven times today, he was like, oh, this other stupid, annoying thing and wanted to give up. And I was like, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're this close. Mostly because I didn't want to deal with him being grumpy that it was still not done and it was this close. So Cheers. the whole anniversary of getting it done on the day, by the way, I'm going to take a bow for like moral supporting that right over the finish line. Yep. Could not have done this without you. Appreciate <laughs> you. All right. Um, I have more things planned for this car. I have two sets of headlights that one of them I think I might sell. One of them I might build more. Maybe I'll sell both of them. I don't know. I have new front struts that I haven't put in. I have front control arm bushings. And we're going to need to fabricate something for that rear bumper. Um, so yeah, there's there's more stuff coming, but she is on the road, so we're gonna we're gonna keep her moving. I think I might just hang the plate on the bumper and run bumperless for a little bit until I get that bumper yeah. installed. We'll see. All right, cheers, dudes. Till next time.